guys, today I want to talk about something that affects a lot of people who have experienced trauma, hypervigilance. The elevated state of constantly assessing potential threats around you after experiencing trauma or bodies prioritize survival above all else. This means that our brains are constantly looking out for any potential danger. This state of hypervigilance can be exhausting and can make it difficult to relax or feel safe. Hypervigilance can manifest in a number of ways. You know, you, you might uh, find yourself constantly scanning your environment for potential threats, or you might be easily startled by loud noises or unexpected movements. You might also experience physical symptoms like sweating, shaking, or an increased heart rate. It's important to remember that hypervigilance is a normal response to trauma. Our bodies are, you know, trying to protect us from future harm by staying on high alert. However, it can also be a sign that we need to seek support and healing. There are a number of things that we can do or you can do to manage hypervigilance. One is to practice relaxation, uh, relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation that can also help with anxiety. Another is to engage in activities that make you feel safe and calm, like spending time in nature or cuddling with a pet if you have a pet. Uh, if you have children, you could cuddle with them. It is also important to seek support from a therapist or other mental health professional. They can help you process your trauma and develop coping strategies for managing hypervigilance. Remember, you are not alone in experiencing hypervigilance after trauma. It's a common response and there is help available. You may not understand what is happening to you, but when you are startled easily and when you are afraid, even when you are in a crowd, that is a state of hypervigilance because of trauma. So thank you so much for watching this. Take care of yourself and know that healing is possible. I will see you in the next video.